I, I, I really see this as a chapter of my life closing and, and for sure another chapter will open. And whatever I do, I'm always gonna do it uh, seriously. If I don't do it seriously, then I'm not gonna do it at all. It was back in 97 in, in, in Australia when I broke my leg and my foot. I always ran a lot my whole life ever since I was a kid and, and uh, for obvious reasons I, I couldn't run. So I started uh, cycling but it was on a road bike and, and I, I started getting into it more and more and more and uh, I had done that for probably 12, 14 years. I had a bunch of miles underneath my butt and <laughs> there was even one of the years that uh, I ran probably 12, 13,000 miles that, that year and th th that's a good chunk of miles and I just got tired and, and I was looking for something else with, with the involvement of the bicycle and, and then I looked into mountain biking and what intrigued me about mountain biking is that you have a lot more the driving into it than you do uh, when you're on a road bike. And I started riding those and uh, I started looking into, okay, why not, instead of just riding and suffering, why not start having a little bit more fun and, and use a little bit more of the technical aspect of it and start going down. So I looked into uh, like enduro stuff, which is you climb, sometimes pedaling, but, but the whole idea is to get from the top to the bottom as fast as possible. And that was a, a little bit more like me. And uh, I have to admit that the first time I saw it, I said, wow, th those guys are crazy. Like, because if something happens to the bike, like if you get a front flat tire suddenly and then you, you just wash out and then you, you bang your head on the wall or something like that, it's, at, at some point you're, you're going down at, at 30, 40 miles an hour, like it's it's pretty fast, like on a on a trail system. I can say exactly the same as driving a race car. Well, what if a tire blows up and right at start finish, and uh, you're doing it at Daytona 200 miles an hour? What if uh, someone blows an engine right in front of you? You, you are going to expect uh, bad consequences. Everything in life, if, if you want a little bit of action or, or, or if you want a little bit more exciting, there's always the risk factor. Yes, there's a little bit of risk in, 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 in doing the type of mountain biking that I'm doing right now, but uh, it's fun. Yeah, I love it. The, like the whole package ends up being not only useful to me, but uh, very, very exciting. <laughs>